In this stunning region where the world's tallest mountain range crosses three neighboring nations, China is creating a unique 30-kilometer super tunnel to install cutting-edge railway lines in the Himalayas. Beyond its practical use in building tunnels for China, this massive undertaking is a remarkable feat of human ingenuity. What was China's impetus for building this Himalayan railway tunnel, and how difficult is it expected to be? Something significant happened on August 8, 2022. The foreign minister of Nepal initiated a visit to China. During the talks between the two countries, Nepal conveyed its desire to build a vast, integrated transportation network with China that traverses the Himalayas. One such network is the China-Nepal Railway, which is still in operation today. But you might be surprised to hear that this idea of a railway goes all the way back to Mao Zedong's infrastructure pledge to Nepal 40 years ago. Curiously, the idea of constructing this railway only emerged very recently. This begs the question, what caused China to put off building this railway for so long? The historical context provides the answer. The tremendous complexity of this railway project was previously rendered unattainable due to difficulties in obtaining the necessary technical and financial support from both China and Nepal. However, in 2022, China invested roughly $4.3 billion to help build the China-Nepal Railway, a testament to the country's growing infrastructure capacities and technological might. Because it is a landlocked country, Nepal has been plagued by transportation problems for a very long time. As a result of the rugged topography, local travel is made more difficult, which in turn has limited the nation's economic and commercial development. By the time the China-Nepal Railway is finished, it will connect three of the most critical cities in Nepal, which will make commuting considerably simpler. When it comes to traveling outside of Nepal, Nepalese nationals will never again be forced to pick between cars and airplanes. Within the borders of China, the segment of this enormous project that is designated for construction wins its way across the Tibet Autonomous Region. During the first half of the year 2022, more than 17 million people visited the area on many occasions. Even if only one-tenth of these tourists traveled to Nepal by rail through Tibet, Nepal's tourism economy would still receive a significant boost from this. Railways will also change Nepal's dependence on India for sea transport, which would in turn drive Nepal's growth in terms of both its international trade and its socio-economic development. A key transportation channel was secured with the China-Laos Railway Project, which resulted in Laos, another landlocked nation, reorganizing its market structure. In a similar vein, the China-Nepal Railway will undoubtedly contribute to the growth of Nepal's national economy and make it possible for a more significant number of Nepalese residents to reap the benefits of development. At the moment, the China-Nepal Railway is considered one of the world's most daunting railway projects. The Himalayan region, including earthquake zones and glaciers, provides the setting for this undertaking. Unforeseen difficulties, such as severe weather and the possibility of mudslides, are expected during the whole building process. These variables significantly increase the complexity of the project. Scientific missions have uncovered an astonishing fact which has shed light on the subject. The railway track has been the site of more than a thousand mudslides in the past few years, with one mudslide every kilometer in certain places. Construction of the China-Nepal Railway is already a complex undertaking. Still, these kinds of events have made it all the more critical to use cutting-edge technical techniques and well-planned design strategies to ensure the highest standards of quality and safety. An offshoot of China's Qinghai-Tibet line, the Riji Railway, now stretches into Nepal thanks to the new railway. The China-Nepal Railway is estimated to be 540 km in length, based on the project plan. Beginning in Tibet, China, the railway travels all the way to Nepal's capital, Kathmandu. Ten years is the anticipated duration of the construction period. Among the many remarkable aspects of this massive effort is the fact that 540 kilometers or 98 segments, make up the China-Nepal Railway. About half of these tunnels wind their way through the treacherous Himalayas. 
the Mala Mountains, a range that branches from the Himalayas, provide a formidable obstacle to the railway's passage through this undertaking. Building the Himalayas Tunnel, a massive passageway through Mala Mountain, is at the heart of this project, which we will explore extensively. It is well known that the Himalayas are the highest mountains on Earth, and that their extreme beauty and difficulty make them home to a small population. The effort required to construct engineering wonders in this area is, without question, enormous. The China-Nepal Railway had to traverse these lofty peaks, so in February 2023, China started building the Himalayas Tunnel to make sure it could. The tunnel project reached an excavation advance of 1,780 meters after five months of perseverance. Reaching this goal could take more than a year for wealthy nations like the US, Germany, and others. While the Chinese crew has made some headway, it still needs to be more significant compared to the full scope of the tunnel project. A total of about 30 kilometers make up the Himalayas Tunnel, as stated in the railway blueprint. With an average cost of about $46,000 per kilometer, China is expected to pour about $1, $4 billion into this project. China's infrastructure projects are efficient and cost-effective when contrasted with the Gotthard Tunnel, the longest railway tunnel in the world which had a cost of around $198 million per kilometer. Even though it's often said that Chinese infrastructure projects are more efficient and more prominent in scale than those of other countries, the current estimate of construction speed suggests that the Chinese team is on track to complete the Himalayas Tunnel before December 2024 which would be a groundbreaking achievement. Building a super tunnel would undoubtedly provide insurmountable obstacles. To begin with, engineering operations in this alpine area are incredibly complicated by the fact that the tunnel is located within a chilly, high-altitude zone. One major worry is the oxygen shortage. Air oxygen concentrations above 4,800 meters above sea level are less than half of what they are at lower elevations, according to geographers. Therefore, in order for the Himalayas Tunnel to be built, the construction crew has to keep to their regular schedules while making sure they have a constant supply of oxygen through specialized generators. A domestically developed marvel, the Jinghua Shield Machine speeds up building efficiency. Its capabilities are remarkable, given its weight of 4,300 tons and enormous 16.7 meter diameter. It has been a lifesaver for the Himalayas Tunnel Project, efficiently excavating tunnel parts equivalent to over six stories tall all at once. Propulsion of excavation processes is made possible by sophisticated mechanisms that use forward cutting blades and cutting edge technology to efficiently remove excavated earth via a conveyor belt as they go through layers of soil. Precast concrete lining, steel sheet piles, and muscular steel arches make up the machine's robust support system further along its course. As an added measure to ensure a safe working environment for all employees, the equipment will conduct geological surveys and predictive assessments. Road transportation is also crucial for the transfer of building supplies and workers' necessities in China's construction teams. Nonetheless, there are significant dangers associated with transporting commodities in high-altitude environments. The solitary, secluded alpine mountain setting only adds to the drama. Things get a whole lot dicier. An unfortunate incident is documented in the past. Tragic events occurred during the building of the Qinghai Tibet Railway, which is similar to the present undertaking. A devastating tragedy involving a tire blowout occurred during road transportation, resulting in the loss of over 100 people. Car tires frequently have blowouts due to the dangerous conditions at high altitudes, which worsen the pressure differential between the inside and outside of the tire. Given these factors, the project's transportation complexity poses a substantial engineering challenge. The China-Nepal Railway is a risky undertaking, so why is China investing so much in it? The fact is that China and Nepal have kept up cordial diplomatic relations. A strong bond was formed between these two countries 40 years ago, the development of Nepal, however, has always been bound up with India's sway. Once upon a time, 
While a Nepalese delegation was visiting China, Chairman Mao of China promised that Nepal would not have to worry much about India once the road was repaired. China is determined to fulfill its promise to Nepal, which it made more than 40 years ago, despite the fact that it now possesses far superior infrastructure and technology. Can you understand the strategic importance of this railway to China? A more fundamental purpose drives this work than only helping Nepal's improved growth. China has insightful views on the whole political scene in South Asia. China has been cut off from the Indian subcontinent by the towering Himalayan barrier for a very long time. A revolutionary change, however, is about to occur with the completion of the China-Nepal Railway. In addition to improving communication with the Indian subcontinent, this railway will connect directly to the Indian Railway Network, allowing for a maritime route to bypass the Bay of Bengal and a direct connection to the Indian subcontinent. The China-Nepal Railway will eventually be the linking thread in the complex web of railways in Southeast Asian countries. In addition, China has been coordinating the Trans-Asian Railway Initiative with great zeal, a grand project with the lofty goal of connecting the railway networks of the ASEAN countries and the vast Eurasian networks. When completed, this all-encompassing plan will provide a safe and efficient land corridor, allowing China to reduce its dependence on sea transit in emergencies. On the other hand, this idea could help improve South Asian geopolitical dynamics. However, when it comes to geopolitical maneuvering, the China-Nepal Railway can play a crucial role as a strategic linchpin and free Nepal from India's control. China is able to counterbalance India's growing regional influence in this way. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos.